Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Fix. My name is Peter Loshak. Today is Friday, September 14th, and this weekend coming up in Russia, in Moscow, we have UFC Fight Night 136, an interesting card, a lot of Russian fighters on the main card, and uh, we're going to get uh, a breakdown on the main card uh, from Andreas Hale right now, our regular guest, uh, MMA and boxing odds expert. Thanks so much, Andreas Hale, for joining us one more time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right, so a lot of interesting fights here on the on the main card. Uh, the one bet that I think I'm liking the most out of all of them is uh, the Arlovsky fight to go the distance. We'll talk about that in a bit, but first let's talk about uh, uh, Mark Hunt against uh, against Olenek. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Mark Hunt, of course, stepping up to replace uh, uh, Verdum in this fight. Hunt is the favorite right now. You know, Hunt is uh, is 44. We know what he likes to do: get knockouts. If the fight go, we know what Olenek likes to do. If the fight goes to the uh, to the ground, then it will likely end quickly by submission. As you would expect, the total on this one is uh, very low. It's scheduled for five rounds, but the total is just uh, one and a half here. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I'd want to take a shot with the under, but uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to take a shot with the over either. And it's a little hard for me to figure out who might have the edge here from a betting from the uh, from the, as far as uh, the odds to win the fighter con is concerned. Uh, and again, Hunt is a pretty significant favorite here, but he could get beat. He can be, get beat, but uh, I'm not sure he's going to lose this fight. And, and mm -hmm. the thing about it is, you know, all this, he's got to get this fight to the, the ground. And that's very difficult to get, do against a guy like Mark Hunt, who has decent takedown defense. You know, against guys like Brock Lesnar, who are those double leg shoot wrestlers, that's, those guys will put you on the back. The Curtis Blades, those guys will put Mark Hunt on his back. I'm not sure if he could get put on his back in this fight. I think this is one of those fights against Olenek where Hunt is going to get a one hitter quitter. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to happen. Um, Olenek is not one of those guys who necessarily engages with his hands. He tries to drag the fight down to the, ca the canvas. He has two of those Ezekiel chokes, which never happened in the UFC. But Mark Hunt doesn't get submitted either. So th th there's a lot of things here that are working against Olenek, and I, I like Mark Hunt. Um, I just, like you said, the over-under, I'm not sure when it's going to happen, but I think Mark's going to finish him. Yeah, well, the market has certainly been uh, been uh, favoring Olenek here. Uh, it opened at about uh, over plus 200. Yesterday it was plus 150, and now it's gone down even more for uh, Olenek down into the plus 130s. And uh, you're right, in his career, Hunt has been uh, very difficult to uh, take down to the ground, but now maybe you think at 44, is age finally going to catch up with him here, or do you think he'll be as tough as ever to get down? I think it'll be as tough as ever. Again, you know, Olenek's not one of those wrestlers who has a powerful double leg and, you know, he can shoot from the outside. You know, Mark, he's, they're not relentless takedown attempts that Olenek does. He kind of drags you down the canvas. But in order to do that, you have to close the gap. And in order to do that, you got to be in Mark Hunt's punching range. So why would you want to take that chance? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think he will. So with that, I think Mark Hunt, you know, if you get in his wheelhouse, he's going to clock you. And it's, all it takes is one punch from Mark Hunt, as we've seen in the past. Yeah. For sure. All right. Well, this one's going to be a pass for me. The market has been clearly all over uh, Olenek here as a dog, betting him down from plus 210 all the way down into the plus 130s. A pass for you, Andreas Hale, or an official pick you want to give us? You know, the, now that the line has trended down for Hunt, I, I'll make a, I'm going to make a pick here. I'm going to go with Hunt. Uh, you know, I like the odds where they're at. When he was at a minus 200 or so, I wanted to stay away. But where he's at now, I think there's some value there. Okay. Well, uh, Andreas Hale is going to take Mark Hunt now that he's all the way down to minus 150. Heritage, bet online, and you wager all the way down to minus 150. Pinnacle at 151. So Andreas Hale going official with Mark Hunt at, uh, at minus 151. Now let's take a look at, uh, at Krilov and, uh, and Blaovic. Uh, you know, this is, a, this is another tough one. Blaovic, of course, a, a tough veteran, but uh, Krilov's been fighting for a long time. He made his UFC debut uh, five years ago. Uh, you know, a veteran of the sport even when a lot of other uh, fighters were, uh, were were very, very young. And uh, this one, to my eye, l looks like it has uh, Krilov, either Krilov by KO, by knockout, or, or Blavich by decision written all over it. What's your take on this one? As of right now, Krilov's a small favorite. Yeah, I think Krilov should be a bigger favorite. Yeah, Black, I think we're taking a lot from Blackwich's last win against Jimmy Manawa. And a lot of people are looking at that fight and say maybe he's turned the quarter. But however, Krilov is a guy who was out of the UFC for a little while. Um, he didn't renew his contract. It's not like he got cut. He didn't want to re-sign his contract. So he moved to the outside of the UFC, got four straight wins, and now he's back in the UFC. Against a guy like Blackwich, who's pretty good, but I think Krilov's just a little bit more skilled on the feet and on the ground. So I think... This has Krilov by decision or, well, maybe by stoppage written all over. I, I, I'm not necessarily sure that Blackwitch can game plan enough uh, to take this guy out. So I'm picking Krilov here. You want Krilov here. See, I was thinking that, I mean, Krilov's a finisher. You think he's a, it's going to be tougher for him to finish Blagovich than the other guys he's fought? 
Yeah, Blind Vince is pretty tough. You know, and like I said, he went the distance with Jimmy Manuel as one of the hardest punchers in the light heavyweight yeah. division. So Kirillov is not as hard of a puncher. It's not to say that it won't happen. You have to be a little bit creative to get Black Vince out of there. But that being said, I, you know, I like Kirillov's strategy, his approach to the game. Like, he'll look for the finish, but maybe Black Vince doesn't get knocked down. Maybe we have a 10-8 round, or maybe we just have a dominant performance. I just think one way or another, the Kirillov skill set, he can win this fight. All right, well, he has gotten bet up a little bit. He opened at about uh, even money, now up into the minus 120. He's minus 125 at uh, you wager and pinnacle would be the best lines right now. You want to go official with that one? Yeah, I'm going to go official with that one. I'm going to go with Krill up here. Minus 125. All right, now let's move on to the uh, to the Arlovsky fight against uh, Abdurahimov. This is an interesting one. You know, uh, Arlovsky, of course, uh, just just an interesting career, a great career overall. I feel like he's slowing down a little bit, and I'm just thinking that uh, this one, more likely than not, goes over, goes to the cards, and that's what I'm leaning over, or the fight goes uh, goes the distance at uh, a, as a prop bet. Uh, what's your take on this one? Uh, uh, Abdurahimov is a is is a small favorite here over Arlovsky. Yeah, look, it's crazy. Arlovsky, we talk about his chin being made out of glass, but he's gone the distance in four straight fights, right. you know, and he got knocked out by Francis Ngannou. It's like, who doesn't get knocked out by that guy? So Arlovsky seems to have found a way to pace himself to make it to the judges' scorecards. He may not win every fight, but he gets there. Um, in this particular fight, I agree with you totally. I think he's, he's being patient. I think he's learned his lesson. Those wild exchanges tend to get him knocked out. So if he can make it, you know, maybe he has a better chance of winning instead of just out here swinging for the fences. So I like the over here. Um, I like I like it going the distance. I, I think uh, you, you're right on point with this one, Pete. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And the market has definitely uh, been betting Abdurahimov. Uh, Arlovsky was actually the favorite to start this one at uh, at uh, minus 118. Now he's a pretty big dog, plus 117. And uh, Abdurahimov is minus 132 now at uh, at Pinnacle. I could see this one being kind of like a little bit of a boring fight. Arlovsky is tactical and smart, and it goes to the cards, but he still winds up losing. Uh, do you think that uh, that this line should have flipped and Arlovsky should not should now be the dog? Man, I don't know. Like tough this is one of those I tough ask. fights. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it's tough because Arlovsky just don't know what you're gonna get. Now, dear, now, dear Mov is a, a guy who got knocked out by Derek Lewis. Um, he beat Chase Sherman, but you know he hasn't faced really elite competition. Yeah. So you look at a guy. We could have a real stinker of a fight here, or we could have a one punch knockout. It's always the issue with these guys at heavyweight. Um, but I, I don't think Arlovsky. Well. Maybe Arlovsky should be the underdog, given his history. And, you know, he's a little bit more of a patient guy, which means he gives rounds away. And you're fighting a guy who's relatively durable. So, yeah, I can see this about being close to an even money fight with a, or uh, with Arlovsky being a slight underdog. All right. So it sounds like it's going to be a pass for you then, Andreas Hale, right? Yeah, it's going to be a pass for me. It's too much to, to think about here, and I don't want to overthink this one. All right. I will take a shot with this fight. Uh, I'm actually going to take the over, not the fight going the distance. Right now, the fight going the distance at... Uh, at uh, at five dimes is minus 165. I'll take a shot with the over, though, at the two and a half rounds, minus 171 at Pinnacle. I do think it's more likely than not to be a little bit of a... Or actually, I'll take the, the bet 365 line, minus 170. I think, you know, these guys are older. They're in their late 30s. I think it might be a little bit more of a boring fight than, uh, than the lethargic fight than people are expecting, a little more of a tactical fight than people are expecting. I'll take the over at uh, two and a half, minus 170. And then we have uh, the Alvas fight. You know, uh, Konchenko, a huge favorite here. How big of a favorite should he be in your opinion Andreas Hale and is this fight bettable yeah man uh I don't think Alvin should be this big of an underdog mm -hmm. uh but to, I'll say that to say this I didn't think Carolina Kovacavich should have been that big of an underdog against Jessica Andraz and she got murdered mm -hmm. last week so I stay away from this one because the line is too wide, and I, I wouldn't bet Alves because I don't think he can necessarily win this fight. I just don't think he should be around a plus 400. I think he should be around a plus 200 range. Thiago Alves is still a pretty good fighter, uh, but this is one I would stay away from. If the line would trend up more, maybe i pick Alves, but... It's too risky. I don't think Alvis is going to win this fight. Yeah, and uh, the market feels the same way. There has been almost no line movement on this one. We've seen big line movements on uh, in all the other fights. This one, Konchenko, uh, you know, started off at about a minus 500 favorite, and that's where he is right now. It seems like there's been very little action coming in for all the reasons that you outlined. All right, nice breakdown. Andreas Hale with a two official picks. He's taken two favorites. Mark Hunt at minus 150 and Krilov at minus 125. Other two fights are going to be a pass for him, but I'm going to go with the over. Two and a half rounds, minus 170 in the Arlovsky fight. Andreas Sale, as always, thanks so much. Talk to you again very soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks, Andreas.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.